Um guys hope so you all will be fine so today I'm inside the metro of Tehran and today I'm gonna to show you the metro of Tehran their architecture from inside and outside the process of how to travel inside the metro their maps and the number of stations so stay with us and watch video till end To talk about the history of metro so the first train started its journey from the azadi square of tehran to karach uh, on 7th of march 1999 and after many successful attempts many stations were added map of metro consists of total 150 stations covering seven lines of metro and each line connect each other at a specific point to one another each line is designed with a specific color which will give you a specific indication of a specific line At the entrance of every metro station you will find a ticket buying machine from here you have to buy your ticket before going inside the metro and for this you have to use your ATM card before uh, having an ATM card you can't buy a ticket so it is compulsory to have an ATM card for buying a ticket. After buying a ticket you have to go inside the metro from here you can get a train of specific destination. This is sitting area for local people where people can come and wait for their specific train. As you can see the train is coming so now we are going inside the train and show you the internal view of the train. If you talk about the music, so music is very popular among all Iranian people and you will find a lot of musicians uh, in different streets, in different stations, uh, metro stations, inside the metro, outside the metro and they can sing a very uh, beautiful and awesome songs. Now we are going to show you the internal view of metro train. The total length of train is about 156 meter and it runs at the speed of 86 km per hour. Now our destination is arrived uh, and we are going outside the metro train and now I am going to show you the external uh, view of metro. Whenever you will go out of the train you will find two exit. Uh, the one exit consists of elevator while the other exit don't consist of elevator. So the people who are old age or can't uh, go up by stairs they can use elevator. And you can see there uh, the elevator is always so crowded so I prefer to go on this stair. Now I'm inside the metro station called Estohid metro station and this is very famous and popular station among all uh, stations and this is known as heart of uh, metro because this station connect different lines with each other and from, the, uh, from this station you can change your train and can go to your specific destination so this station connect uh, different line with each other. And you will find different kind of elevators for going upside and downside. The unique property of Metro of Tehran is that it is created uh, inside the depth in such a way that you have to use at least 4 or 5 elevators for going downside to get a specific train and then you have to use at least 4 or 5 elevators for going outside. 
and the property the unique property is that uh, oxygen level is maintained in such a way that you will not feel any lack of breath and you will not feel any uh, problem inside the metro So oh, this is the point from where I can change my line and now I'm going toward uh, Iramisabs, the last station of this line. As you can see the train of yellow line is coming. The total length of metro inside whole capital Tehran is almost about 253 km. If you talk about the cleanliness, so it is maintained in such a way that you will find the metro inside always neat and clean. If you talk about the exits and entry points, so at every station you will find at least two or three entry points and at least uh, two or three exits which will lead you to a specific place or specific uh, destination outside the metro station. Now I completed my journey and I am at exact point leaving for my home. So guys this is the end of our today vlog so give a share, like and subscribe to explore in Mr. Hamza.